life, love, pain, hope, faith. Deception results in guilt with its physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual consequences. Truthfulness is the foundation of integrity and evokes trust from others. Hello? Hey girl, I've been trying to call you all morning. Where you been? I went to the gym, what's up? There's no easy way to say this. Girl, I'm pregnant. Congratulations. Maybe this will help you and Eric your lawn better. Girl, this is not Eric's baby. What do you mean? Now you know we've been fighting for a while. I started talking with a co-worker about my problems and before I knew it, we were sleeping together. He was understanding. I was so needy. I just fell for it. And it's the same old story. But the baby could be for Eric, huh? Come on, Dee, no, it can't. Because Eric and I haven't been sleeping together for several weeks, you know that? So what are you gonna do? I'm going to make, I'm just going to make up with Eric and I'm gonna make him, I'm gonna sleep with him and make him think it's his baby. So what are you saying? I can't, I just can't tell Eric it's not his. DeAndra, now you know I'm your ride or die girl. I have always had your back, but you just can't do that. That's a betrayal that will last a lifetime. And every time you hear the child say, Daddy, something inside of you will just die. Well, what else can I do? I messed up, I messed up. Be careful, DeAndra. This is one decision that can change your whole life, a life of guilt and shame. And what about your child? D, I can't believe this. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just don't. Truth will always find light, but lies will always seek darkness. I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I'm gonna have to talk to you later. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm just glad to see you. All right, all right, you just think long and hard. Wait, wait, what's, what's going on? Wait, oh my God, D, he's home, he heard, oh my God. Well, good morning, Eric, how are you today? Good as I could be, how are you doing? I'm fine, thanks for asking. I see you brought your notes. We've been doing a lot, and I know you've been working hard through the process. What a journey it's been. So what's your heart begging to talk about today? Well, I ran across an old friend, and he didn't know about my wife's death. It was hard for me. I couldn't really explain it. <clears throat> well, is it the death or the lie? Is it deception and betrayal? What's going on? Well, Doc, it was both. I mean, the lie, because her death ended the possibility of any kind of closure between us. I'm sorry for your loss, Eric, but how are you handling it? I mean, I still can't believe she died, Doc. I mean, just think about it. She died before I had a chance to deal with it. She died before I could bring any closure to any of this. I cut off all communication with her for months. I just couldn't stand looking at her. I couldn't look her in her face. Okay, so having said that then, what's more of the issue, her death or her lie? Both, both, but probably the lie more than anything. I mean, the deception, she lied about the baby, I mean, it had not been for the day I walked up on her having a conversation with her friend. <sighs> they revealed to me what happened in conversation. I just can't look at her. I can't, I can't be this. I, I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have known the truth if it wasn't for a mistake of walking up on her. Okay, so now what then? You know what, Eric? We've gone through this many times before. You must forgive Deandra so you can move on. Dr. Riley, I loved that woman. I, I need you to understand that. I loved her. I can't, I can't, I can't understand how she cheated on me and I, I, I know I can't just get past that like, like talking about it. She cheated on me. I understand that, Eric, but, but you must. 
you know what? You're not forgiving her for her because DeAndre's gone. You are forgiving her for you. Well, maybe so. Maybe so. But the pain in my heart, it, it won't let me rest at night. I, I can't sleep dealing with this thought. Let me tell you something, Eric. For every stimulus in life, there is a response. But here's the thing, and, and don't ever forget this. There's a gap between the stimulus and the response, which may determine the consequences, be it positive or negative. We all suffer adversities and challenges in life. But the question is, how do you handle them? With bitterness or forgiveness? With anger or peace? With joy or sadness? With happiness or just being right? Right now, with bitterness, I mean, anger, sadness, and being right all at the same time. But why not with forgiveness, with peace, with joy and happiness? I mean, rage and anger feel good. It, it, it keeps me in control. It, it, it's almost like a drug. I don't have the capacity or the capability to actually forgive her yet, so don't ask me to do something I'm unable to do at this moment. Eric, listen. My job is to help support you through the process of metamorphosis. Understand this. Right now, you're stuck in the cocoon. You're feasting on many thoughts and emotions, which are painful at best. I'll give you that. We've talked about that many times. I don't expect you to just get over it like that. But the cocoon is spinning. And when the spinning stops, you emerge transformed with a brand new outlife. Forgiveness may be possible then. However, if you stop the process, you'll fall and never reach the end or complete the process. Do you understand? Yeah, Doc, but I, I can't make it like this. Eric, don't fall. Please don't fall. Don't interfere with the process. You'll survive. You will survive, and you'll survive better than before. Go home. Look at your notes. You know what else you might want to do? You can seek the person who is responsible for your faith. You know who that is. You can do that as well. Mm -hmm.